everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So I've just been revisiting some of my older tutorials and I thought I'd revisit the pinwheel card. So I've got two tutorials, I think it is, and I show you different ways to make a pinwheel. And I thought it'd be really nice to have a tiered pinwheel. And that's what I've created here. So you can see how this works. So it all folds down to a six by six size. And then when they take out the envelope, it's pretty easy. You know, it's obvious what they, you kind of do with this one. And you can see there you've got that pinwheel effect and how it's displayed. So that's like the front. Thanks for everything. And then you've just got all of them. I've kept them just of the same colour. Obviously, you can change it up, have all different colours there. And then a little space on the back there to write my message. But if you wanted to have all of those panels white, you could do. Really easy, no dies are needed or anything. I've used a little die just to cut the sentiment out, but to make the main card itself, it's very, very easy. And if you've made the pinwheel cards before, then you'll know exactly what to do. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make it. So for the sentiment for today's card, it's the thanks for everything, which is from this set here, which is the modern sentiments, A6 size from Creative Craft Products. I have stamped all of the design, which you'll see better in a moment, using flowers from the Flowers and Foliage stamp set. And then I've used one of the butterfly dies here. It was this one. Oh no, I've actually, I've got them all cut here from another project. So I'm gonna use one of those butterflies as well on this card. And that's the Butterflies Galore set. So you wanna cut yourself a piece of five by six. And along the five inch side, you're just going to score every one inch. So one, two, three, and, oh, and four. Fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, and then the far right side, just cut a little slither off. So like one eighth of an inch, something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use the construction glue and add it all on that same panel that you've just cut a little bit from. And then if you fold over one of the panels and the other one with the glue on, and then you'll have one on this side and just fold that over. By cutting that little bit off, it just allows this to all fold flat. You won't have any of the card buckling. Okay, and then just fold it back the other way. So now we've got this tube and that's gonna be the foundations for us to build everything else on. So I've already gone ahead and stuck the layers on to each one because you don't need to see me stick all those down so I'm just making sure I've got all the right sizes here so I'll give you the measurements first and then I'll talk you through my layout so you want four pieces of one and a half by three and then four pieces of one and a quarter by two and three quarters that's for the bottom then you'll want four pieces of one and a half by two and a half and four pieces of one and a quarter by two and a quarter. It's the next tier. And then four pieces of one and a half by two, and then four pieces of one and a quarter by one and three quarters. That's the next one. And then the top tier, you want four pieces of one and a half squared and four pieces of one and a quarter squared. So on all of the tiers apart from the bottom, I've got three pattern pieces and then one with my design. So again, three with pattern paper, one with the design, again there. And then for the bottom one, I've got one with white on, so I've got somewhere to just write a little message and that's gonna go on the back. But I've done it so that the design, make sure I get this the right way. So it's going to be like that, like that, and like that. So that's how it will look. That's going to be like the front of the card. And then the sentiment is going to be just kind of attached like so. And then there'll be these all around the other sides and then that one on the back. So I'm going to start with the front first. So the join is on, is on the back there. Start from the bottom on all of the sides when you work your way around because that way you know the card will stand up and it won't wobble. It doesn't matter if it goes slightly off the top because they will all be the same. So what you can do is just add your glue all on that front panel, like so, and then just sit the first one down. So you're sticking it, so you line it all up with the bottom left corner there. Make sure it's all flush with the bottom. Then take the next one and that's going to sit right on top of the bottom one. And then again, 
third one and then the last one and it should fit perfectly but if like i said you go over slightly it's best to go slightly over at the top than it is the bottom and just stand it up and make sure it's not rocking or anything and just give that a minute to dry okay so now i'm going to just fold that down so it's flat so again i can just make sure i can still wiggle them a little bit because they're still kind of drying like so now i'm going to add my glue all down this panel like so and then take this one and stick it over the top again make sure it's nice and flush with the bottom and it's just going to overlap that one Again, take the next one, next one again, and then the top one. It should all join again nicely. Definitely recommend a liquid glue for this because it's easy to, to move all the pieces around. Whereas if you use a tape, then, you know, if you stick it down wrong, it's going to be hard to reposition. And just check that they're all okay. And now I just open up that the tube there you can see now we've got two of the sides oh i've just realized what i've done you're probably shouting at me i've stuck the wrong size down there it's that one <laughs> again good example on why it's good to use the liquid glue and not the uh tape there we go so well you had those folded like this and so now you're going to bring it around so the next side shows and now that panel's at the back And I'm going to take the plain white one because that's the very back of the card. So that's where my message will be. You could do two with the white if you wanted to do the one above as well. But as long as I've got space to write a little something there. Next one. And again, you get the idea. It's really easy to put together. So that's all the panels stuck down. So I've got my back one and then the front so that's how it will you know be displayed and then if you want to cover these pieces you can do i mean i've got some of these scrap pieces um you can kind of see let me find one that's going to roughly fit if you wanted to I'm trying to think whether i want to do that it does look quite nice actually so if you want to cover these pieces you'll want well that's two so i'll do one and three quarters by one and a quarter and then one and a quarter by one and a quarter, three quarters by one and a quarter, and then a quarter by one and a quarter. And you'd want to cut four of each of those sizes. So I think I'm just going to do this side because I've got the pieces kind of here. Although saying that, I probably, I probably can do it actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, get the sentiment down and then place the butterfly somewhere as well. And then I'll show you it all finished. Okay, so that's all of the panels covered, every single side. It actually looks much better now. I've just gone for the simple sentiment without the other purple little frames around it, and I'm not going to add the butterfly. I think it's got such a fun shape that it doesn't really need too much. I just love the floral print there and the sentiment, but I am going to add some of my glaze just on the centres. So there you have it, my tiered or stacked pinwheel card. I love it. I think it's a really nice way to just change up the normal pinwheel. And like I said at the beginning, I'll link it up here somewhere. I'll have it popping up now actually for you to go and watch next if you want to see, you know, that style if you've maybe not seen it before. And I'll have some other fun fold cards as well that you may want to have a look at. As always, I'll link the product that I've used in the description box below the video. And yeah, I'm going to definitely revisit this in five by seven size. I think it'll look cool in like larger seven by seven, eight by eight sizes as well. But it's a really easy one to adapt to any size, you know, card that you like to make.
So thank you as always for watching today. I will have all of the product linked in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and I'll be back again very soon. Take care. Bye.